back in September, Trump allegedly faked a pro Trump rally held by union workers in Michigan. The United Automobile Workers were on strike, and this is a huge deal in Michigan because they are the car making capital of the country. Trump goes to Detroit during the strike and holds a rally courting, pretending to court union workers. But here's the catch. He held the rally at a non-union auto plant and was surrounded by non-union auto workers. But he has them holding signs, as you can see here, that say union members for Trump. These people are not in unions. They are not in the UAW. And for all of this, in order to make this happen, allegedly, he paid $20,000. The reason they think that this was you know, like a payoff to to fake a union rally is because it's the $20,000 is a line item listed as rental fee. So he paid, he paid this auto plant $20,000 to host an event. That's a pretty steep rental fee for a, a, an auto plant in, in Detroit, Michigan. Um, and I just want to say something <laughs> very clearly to the blue collar workers out there, to people who know blue collar workers. I cannot stress enough how little Donald J. Trump gives a shit about you, your job or your family. If this dude could outsource every single job, if he could automate every single person out of a job for a lower price, he would fucking do it. The Republicans themselves have always been anti-union, but Trump is like like another level of anti-labor. So this, according to the AFL-CIO, there's a huge, a huge document of all the anti-labor moves that Trump made while he was president. Let's, uh, these are just a few of them. He promised to project, protect jobs in the steel industry, didn't do it. Uh, he promised to crack down on China dumping steel into the U.S. market. Didn't do it. Um, in 2019 alone, more than 16,000 manufacturing workers lost their jobs in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Michigan. He slashed the number of OSHA inspectors to their lowest number ever. So that's OSHA is for like workplace safety. He rolled back worker protections against retaliation. Um, which happens when people speak up and then they get fired. That's usually the retaliation. He increased firings at the Department of Veterans Affairs by 60% due to stripping back um, similar worker protections. He stacked the National Labor Relations Board with union-busting corporate lawyers, opposed any increase that was proposed to the federal minimum wage. During a pandemic... When people were already struggling, he oversaw a rise in outsourcing, as I said, including the highest rate of outsourcing by federal contractors in a decade. So all of this is, you know, stuff within like the union frame. But also, even if you're not in a union, he doesn't give a fuck about you. Uh, he also withdrew a policy specifically allowing non-union workers to participate in safety inspections. So any way you slice it, whether you're union or not, if you are a worker, he does not give a shit about you. I'm going to put the full list of all the ways Trump has harmed the working class in the description of this video for y'all to check out. And in case it wasn't clear, because of all of these things that Trump has done and more, the UAW has endorsed Biden. Biden uh, has been endorsed by all the unions because they all know that Trump sucks. Mm -hmm.